Stone Central School Board of Directors to order. We're going to begin with the salute to the flag and a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag, to the flag of the United States, of the United States, States, States of America, America which, is in which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, an executive session was held tonight from 5.37 p.m. to 6.29 p.m. for uh, legal and personnel matters. Uh, Ms. Long, can we have the roll call, please? Mrs. Donahue? Here. Mr. Elling? Present. Mr. Johnston? Here. Mr. Koch? Present. Ms. Lynch? Present. Mr. Miller? Present. Mr. Probert? Mr. Probert? Mr. Probert indicated he would unlike, be unlike, likely to not attend. Okay. Mrs. Smith? Here. Mr. Strauss? Here. Eight members present. Thank you. Looks like we have no presentation for tonight. Is that correct, Superintendent Martin? That is correct. Okay. With that in mind, we'll move on to the hearing of visitors. Ms. Long, do we have any visitors signed up? There are no visitors signed up to speak. Okay. That will go into the superintendent's report, uh, Ms. Martin. Hi, I have a very brief superintendent's report for you this evening. Um, I just wanted to let everyone know that our secondary principals and administrators have been very busy preparing for uh, virtual graduation 2020 for both Bucktail and Central Mountain High Schools. We are re planning to release a video uh, on June 2nd. And along with this celebration process, our principals began today, I believe, handing out the celebration bags at both, um, at, well, at least at Central Mountain started today. I'm not sure what day the Bucktail students are getting their celebration bags, but that's part of um, what we're, we're working on right now. Um, as a separate um, project that I've started, I reached out to Tracy Kennedy at the Sugar Valley Charter School, as well as Michelle Alexander, principal at Lock Haven Catholic School. And I've asked them to, to join me in working collaboratively for a multi-step plan for reopening schools in Clinton County. And so we're going to be forming that committee and getting some, some things organized for multiple phases. I'd like to be prepared for preparation before students would come back. What does it look like in our schools when students do come back? And then what would be our contingency plan in the event that the COVID-19 virus would force us to leave our schools abruptly again sometime in the fall or winter? So we wanna make sure that we have those plans um, in place. We wanna think about facilities. We wanna think about student, faculty, staff wellness, uh, leadership in, in those ways, instruction, um, as well as technology and school operations. So it's going to be a very complex multi-phase plan with all of those facets um, addressed in the plan. And as that plan develops, I suspect that I'll have some updates for you in June uh, with regard to what that plan looks like. We continue our humanitarian efforts. I do not have an exact meal count since last week, but my guess is we're definitely over uh, 60,000 meals to date. It looks like we're making plans currently to continue serving meals, not only through the end of June, but also we're trying to make preparations to continue that humanitarian effort throughout the summer for all of our students. And, and not just our students, but all children in the community. And that's all I have for this evening. Okay, any questions for Superintendent Martin? Okay, hearing none, uh, 
The next section of the agenda is reports. This is information and discussion. That's not uh, necessarily a voting item, but uh, uh, these I don't believe have really changed since last week, other than I think the revised 10-year facilities plan may have been updated. Are there any questions or comments on that? Okay, hearing none. Uh, Mr. Elling, can I ask you to please uh, make the motion to move the agenda? Uh, I would say first that I would like to hold item F1. F1. Anything else? Anybody else have anything to hold? I do, um, actually. Like oh. Okay, go ahead, Randy. Uh, this is when we pull if we want to have a separate vote on it, correct? Yes. Okay. H5, H9, H10, and H13. Okay. Thank you. Uh, yep. Elizabeth? H6. Okay. Right now I have... F1, H5, H9, H10, H13, and H6. Anybody else have anything? I wish to move the agenda. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, I was getting ready to do that, but um, I'll second uh, Wayne's um, motion. Can I have that motion, please, in a form that indicates which items are being excluded for a uh, separate vote? Sure. Okay. I would like to make a motion that we move the entire agenda except for the following items. F1, H5, H6, H9, H10, and H13. Okay. I'll give you credit for the motion. Wayne, I'll give you credit for the second since uh, you chimed in there. Uh, any discussion on this? Okay, uh, then we'll go to the vote. Ms. Long? Sorry, I was unmuting. It's okay. uh, Mr. Strauss? Mrs. Donahue? Yes. Mr. Elling? Yes. Mr. Johnston? Yes. Mr. Koch? Yes. Ms. Lynch? Yes. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mr. Probert? Oops. Mrs. Smith? Yes. Eight yes votes. Okay. <clears throat> First item that we have pulled for separate discussion is item number F1. This is a resolution on uh, real estate tax collections for the 2020-2021 school year, amending the uh, collection cycle and uh, revising the uh, penalty percentage to 0% since we can't remove it. Uh, the only reason that I've pulled this out for separate consideration is because it is a board resolution and requires a roll call vote. May I have a motion? I'll make that motion. Thank you, Ms. Smith. Is there I'll a second? second. Mr. Elling, I think you got it. Any discussion? Ms. Long, you're going to be busy tonight. Can I have the vote, please? <laughs> Mrs. Donahue? Yes. Mr. Elling? Yes. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Mr. Koch? Yes. Ms. Lynch? Yes. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mrs. Smith? Yes. Mr. Mr. Strauss? Yes. Eight yes votes. Okay, thank you. The next item is item number H5, Keystone Sports Constructions, to approve the agreement with Keystone Sports. 
Keystone Sports Construction for the Central Mountain High School turf field renovation, not to exceed four hundred sixty-two thousand two hundred ninety-one dollars. I need to shut that up. Paid for by the capital fund under the twenty twenty bond issue. Uh, is there a motion? I'll make that motion. Thank you, Mr. Elling. Is there a second? Second. Uh, I didn't catch who that was. Jeff. Thank you, Mr. Yeah. Johnson. Discussion. Mr. Strauss, you asked to pull this one. Yes. I still, in my heart, I don't mind the field. I just question the extras. And for, for that reason, I will end up voting no. I think right now we need every penny we can have. And with any spending extra that we definitely don't, if it's not as actually required for sure, it's just scary <laughs> not knowing where the state budget's going to come in at. That's all. Okay. Um, Randy, this is Elizabeth. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't understand what you mean by extras. Please help me to understand. I believe if you look, there's the price for the field, then there's a the price for this the equipment that that also is coming with it. No, unless I'm misunderstanding. You're Somebody, right. Susan, yeah. you're correct. Yeah. There's there's the field price, and there's two pieces of equi of equipment to maintain the fields. Right. And I and my I guess I'm not so much questioning the field as I'm questioning the equipment. It's just and it's more a matter of just money. That's that's what it is. It's not that I don't necessarily think the equipment, you know, won't be a benefit. I'm just questioning spending any more money at all right now when we have no clue where the state's going to be the next couple of years with its budgets. May I ask a question? Yes, Mr. Koch. If we don't buy this equipment, then what do we maintain the field with? Is there any maintenance at all? How do we do that? Uh, now, I don't know. I think uh, the purpose of, of these, we're, right now they're, we're sharing some equipment, I believe, between uh, Bucktail and, and uh, Central Mountain. And I think with uh, the purchase of these items, it's going to be able to, uh, I think, maintain these fields better. Um, and I think that there was a need for it up at Bucktail, and that's why uh, these two uh, items were were included there. Maybe so, my understanding is the turf project came in much lower than originally anticipated, and therefore there was room to to also get the other equipment needed to maintain both fields. I was mm -hmm. approached by um, a couple folks as the inequity in between maintaining and improving the field in one high school and not the other. And so ultimately, um, Susan and I questioned the purchase as well and, and dove into it pretty deeply with Mr. Priscilla. Uh, and in the end, it was the facility committee who felt that uh, moving those pieces of equipment into that project was the most um, efficient way, and that's what the committee is recommending. Okay. I, gather, I gather then it's the opinion of those involved in this that this is not extra, this is essential. And it also, I, I might add that uh, even with this, we are under budget uh, from what was uh, what was budgeted for that whole turf project. We're still almost forty thousand dollars under. So, um, or whatever the difference, I guess it's thirty eight thousand. But uh, I still think we're we're still well within budget, and so I think it's okay. Sure. And uh, Randy, something else I learned in that questioning of that project was that um, there is some safety issues with the divots in the field at Bucktail. It's not just about the weeds. <laughs> um, it's really a lot of work needs to be done uh, on that field. And this equipment allows us to take care of the safety of that field. At the same time, we felt that the turf project is um, at the point where that turf has met the end of its lifespan. And so that was the reason for both recommendations. Okay. Thank you. All right. Any, for, any further discussion on the, this item? <clears throat> Hearing none, uh, I will call for the vote. Mr. Alling? Yes. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Mr. Koch? Yes. Ms. Lynch? Yes. Mr. Miller? Yes. Ms. Smith? Yes. Mr. Strauss? Yes. 
Mrs. Donahay. Yes. Eight yes votes. Okay. All right. Uh, the next item uh, that we have uh, for discussion is uh, the Gordian Agreement for uh, Central Mountain Middle School Window Replacement. Uh, this is to approve the agreement with Gordian for the Central Mountain Middle School Window and Exterior Door Replacement Project, not to exceed one million seventeen thousand one hundred three dollars and thirty one cents paid by the capital fund as part of the 2020 bond issuance. I believe this is part of the energy savings project. In fact, I know it is. Uh, so it's part of that bond. Uh, is there a motion? I'll make that motion, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Elling. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Mr. Johnston. Is there discussion? I wish to call the question. You wish to call the question? Okay. If there's no discussion, we'll go to the vote. Ms. Long? Mr. Johnson? Yes. Mr. Koch? Yes. Ms. Lynch? No. Mr. Miller? Yes. Ms. Mrs. Smith? Yes. Mr. Strauss? Yes. Mrs. Donahue? Yes. Mr. Elling? Yes. Mr. Elling? Yes. Seven yes votes. Okay, thank you, that passes. Uh, the next item is H9 for Hoover Tractor. I wasn't aware that uh, Hoover manufactured tractors. I thought that they made vacuum cleaners, but I guess I'm misinformed. So this is a motion to approve the agreement with Hoover Tractor for a field sprayer not to exceed $12,168.50 to be paid for by the capital fund. Is there a motion? I'll make that motion, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Elling. Is there a second? A second. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. Discussion. Uh, Mr. Miller, Prince President. Actually, we can just do the whole, if it'd be easier, which I probably it isn't, my whole 9, 10, and 13 are all are going to be the same reasons that I actually pulled them. Are they all a necessity at this moment? Here again, it's back to the money thing. I'm not going to repeat myself. It's purely a money issue. Are they necessary? I would have liked to have seen more effort put into getting a hold of any local dealer with the Hoover tractor issue and with the trailer. But with the times being what they are, and Rob stated he could not get a hold of them, that's not Rob's fault. I just would like to see more effort put into getting local bids, if possible, when businesses are open, which is hard to do if they're closed. Okay. Well, we've held them all for individual consideration, so we'll still go through the votes on them. I apologize, everybody. That's, that's okay. Uh, is there any uh, additional uh, discussion? <coughs> if not, I will ask for the vote. Mrs. Long? Mr. Koch? Yes. Ms. Lynch? No. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mrs. Smith? Yes. Mr. Strauss? No. Mrs. Donahue? This is Donna. Hey, you're on mute. Thank you. I was trying to unmute it, but it wasn't working. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yes. Mr. Elling? Yes. Mr. Johnston? Yes. Six yes votes. Okay, thank you. Next item is number H10, Palco Generators. Uh, this one uh, is a matter of information. Uh, is a few hundred dollars higher than the quote we had seen last week. That is because uh, the generator that was quoted uh, got quotes for two different uh, models. Uh, one was uh, designed to run at 480 volts. The other was designed to run at 208 volts. Uh, 
this is uh, for uh, Rob Elementary School, and Rob Elementary School has a 208 volt service, not 480 volts, and we had the wrong quote, so it's a few hundred dollars more. Uh, now that that information is out there, uh, may I have a motion? I'll make that motion, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Elling. Is there a second? I'll second. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. Is there discussion? Okay, then we'll call for the vote. Ms. Lynch? Yes. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mrs. Smith? Yes. Mr. Strauss? Emphatically, no. Mrs. Donahue? Yes. Mr. Elling? Yes. Mr. Johnston? Yes. Mr. Koch? Yes. Seven yes votes. Okay, thank you. Next item is number H13 uh, for Best Choice Trailers. It is to prove the agreement with Best Choice Trailers for an equipment trailer not to exceed $8,137 to be paid for by the general fund. Uh, is there a motion? I'll make that motion, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Elling. Is there a second? I'll second. I'll second. Uh, don't know who got the second there. It wasn't you, Mr. Johnston. I don't know who else spoke. Tracy. 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 Mrs. Mrs. Smith, you've got the second on that one. Is there a discussion? Um, yes, this is Elizabeth. Um, I just like to bring this up again, just to keep it on the radar. I don't know if this piece of equipment needs to be stored inside, be stored outside, but again, we're, we keep continually buying equipment, and I still don't know what equipment should be stored inside for its longevity, what should be stored outside, and do we have enough storage space? So that was just my comment. Keep it on the yeah, radar. I, I did address that at the facility committee meeting that Mr. Purcell and I have um, made plans for storing things, and I've also talked with him since the facility committee meeting. Many of the things that were left outside in the past have already been stored and put inside. Um, and it's part of our plan um, to maintain those that equipment. So we've got a plan in place for that. I just wanted to make sure that you were aware. Oh, that's wonderful news. Thank you. Thank you very much. And regarding this particular trailer, I remember if Mr. Pasella explained it correctly, this uh, this is a trailer that uh, you know, is powder coated. It's uh, very, very well manufactured trailer and is designed to stand up to the elements. Uh, is there any further discussion? If not, uh, Mrs. Long, can we have the vote please? Mr. Miller? Yes. Mrs. Smith? Yes. Mr. Strauss? No. Mrs. Donahue? Yes. Mr. Elling? Yes. Mr. Johnston? Yes. Mr. Koch? Yes. Ms. Lynch? Yes, thank you. Seven yes votes. Okay. And that brings us to the list of items that were held for separate uh, votes. I uh, believe that brings us to the adjournment portion of our agenda. Unless there's any further business to come before the board, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Mr. President, I'll make that motion to adjourn. Thank you. Is there a second? A second. Thank you, Mr. Strauss. And without objection, we will stand adjourned.